Hello everyone, welcome to Yellow Pages Nursing. In today's video, we will be discussing about intravenous fluids. Before entering into the session, if you have not subscribed our channel, please subscribe our channel and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Let's get into the topic. What are intravenous fluids? Intravenous fluids are supplemental fluids used in intravenous therapy to restore normal fluid volume and maintain electrolyte balance when the oral route is not possible. When we look at patients who are receiving intravenous therapy, nurses should be aware of what kind of IV fluids are being administered. IV fluids are either crystalloids or colloids. A crystalloid solution can be isotonic, hypotonic or hypertonic. But remember, colloids are always hypertonic. Before looking into what are crystalloids and colloids, we should remember a few terminologies. First is intracellular, that is fluid within the cell. Next comes extracellular, which means fluid outside the cell, where the fluid may be either in the interstitial space or intravascular fluid. Next comes interstitial fluid, where the fluid is between the cells and in the interspaces of a tissue. Then comes intravascular, which means fluid within the vessels. Let's start with crystalloids. Crystalloid solutions contain small molecules that easily move across semi-permeable membranes. Crystalloid solutions can easily enter into the cells and make the contents of the solution available for use. Moreover, crystalloids consist of water and small water-soluble electrolytes that are easily absorbed from the bloodstream. These are mainly indicated for fluid maintenance, fluid replacement, and resuscitation. Based on the relative tonicity in relation to plasma, crystalloid solutions can be categorized into isotonic, hypotonic, and hypertonic solutions. Let's begin with isotonic solutions. Two solutions with an equal amount of solute are isotonic. Osmotic pressure is the same inside and outside the cells, so they neither shrink nor swell with the fluid movement. Isotonic solutions are mainly used to increase the extracellular fluid volume because of blood loss, surgery, dehydration, fluid loss that has been lost extracellularly. Let's look into the examples of isotonic solutions. The most commonly used normal saline solution comes under isotonic category. Osmolality of normal saline is 308 milliosmoles per liter. Normal saline contains water, sodium and chloride. Sodium and chloride are in equal proportions that is 154 milli equivalent per liter. Looking into the uses, normal saline solution is mainly used for expanding extracellular fluid volume and to correct extracellular fluid volume deficit. This extracellular fluid volume loss may be due to hemorrhage, severe vomiting, diarrhea or from GI suction. Coming into nursing alerts, normal saline can cause fluid volume overload and hence while administering this, nurse should monitor for signs of fluid volume overload and the drip rate and when administering normal saline, it should be used in more caution in case of cardiac or renal patients. Normal saline is the only solution that can be administered with the blood products. The next isotonic solution is dextrose 5% in water. Its osmolality is 252 milliosmoles per liter. Contents of dextrose 5% includes water and glucose 50 gram per liter. When dextrose 5% is used, it is initially isotonic and provides free water and when dextrose is metabolized, it makes the solution becomes hypotonic. It is mainly used for expanding the extracellular fluid and intracellular fluid and it is helpful in rehydrating and excretory purposes. It is also used to treat hypernatremia. Coming to nursing alert, D5 water should not be used alone while treating fluid volume deficit because it dilutes plasma electrolyte concentrations. It is contraindicated in resuscitation, early postoperative period and patients with known or suspected increased intracranial pressure. Next isotonic solution is lactated ringer solution in 5% dextrose. The other name for lactated ringer solution is D5 LRS LR. Ringer's lactate and Hartmann solution. 
The osmolality of Ringer lactate solution is 273 milliosmoles per liter. The contents include water, sodium 130 milliequivalent per liter, potassium 4 milliequivalent per liter, calcium 3 milliequivalent per liter, chloride 109 milliequivalent per liter, and lactate 28 milliequivalent per liter. Ringer lactate is the first fluid of choice mainly for burns patient which we have discussed in our Parkland formula video and also in trauma patients. It is also used to correct dehydration, sodium depletion and replace GI tract fluid losses. Coming to nursing alert, Ringer lactate should not be given to patients who cannot metabolize lactate for example liver disease, lactic acidosis and also it is used in caution for patients with heart failure and renal failure. So here you go with isotonic solutions, hypertonic solutions. The solution with a higher concentration of solute is called hypertonic. A hypertonic solution draws fluid into the intravascular compartment from the cells and hence water will flow out of the cells causing it to shrink. Osmolarity of hypertonic solutions is generally higher than the serum osmolarity. Let's look into some examples. First comes 3% sodium chloride. The osmolarity of 3% sodium chloride is 1030 milliosmoles per liter. The concentration includes sodium 513 milliequivalent per liter and chloride 513 milliequivalent per liter. It is used in the acute treatment of severe hyponatremia and in patients with cerebral edema. In hospitals, 3% sodium chloride is categorized under either high alert medications or high risk medications. While administering this, it should be accurate and cautiously used in order to avoid pulmonary edema and fluid volume overload. On the other hand, when 3% sodium chloride is rapidly infused, it may cause either hypernatremia or hyperchloremia. Similarly, 5% sodium chloride is also used for the same indications and the osmolarity is 1710 milliosmoles per liter. Next example of hypertonic solution is dextrose 10% in water. The osmolarity of D10 is 505 milliosmoles per liter and the contents are water, glucose 100 gram per liter and 380 kilocalories per liter. It is mainly used in the treatment of ketosis, of starvation and provides calories and free water. As we have discussed before, hypertonic solutions come under high risk category and hence use of central line is always safe for administration in order to avoid peripheral IV complications. When D10 is administered, monitor for blood glucose closely and it is used in caution with patients with diabetes mellitus and monitored for hypokalemia when rapidly infused which may cause diuresis, hyperglycemia, glycosuria. Dextrose 10% is contraindicated in patients with intracranial or intraspinal hemorrhage, delirium tremor, severe dehydration, anuria, hepatic coma. Another example of hypertonic solution is dextrose 20% and the osmolarity is 660 milliosmol per liter. The contents include water and glucose 200 gram per liter. It is used as an osmotic diuretic that causes fluid shifts between various fluid compartments to promote diuresis. It is also used in case of hypoglycemia. Dextrose is also available in other concentrations like dextrose 25% in water, dextrose 50% in water, etc. In general, when hypertonic solutions are administered, monitor electrolytes and assess for hypervolemia because it may cause fluid volume overload and pulmonary edema. It must be avoided in patients with cardiac or renal conditions who are dehydrated and in patients with diabetic ketoacidosis. So here you go with hypertonic solutions under intravenous fluids. What is hypotonic solution? The solution with a lower solute concentration is called hypotonic. A hypotonic solution shifts fluid out of the intravascular compartment. So water will rush into the cell causing it to expand. Here the osmolarity is lower compared to serum osmolarity. 
Next, let's move on to the examples. First example is 0.45% sodium chloride. The other names include half strength normal saline and half NS and the osmolality is 154 milliosmoles per liter. The contents include water, sodium and chloride in equal proportions that is 77 milli equivalent per liter. 0.45% sodium chloride is mainly used for replacing water in patients who have hypoolemia, hypernatremia. It is used in caution in patients with heart failure, severe renal insufficiency and edema with sodium retention. While administering this, it should be accurate and the drip rate should be closely monitored in order to avoid fluid volume overload. Electrolyte levels are monitored while administering hypotonic solutions because it may decrease electrolyte concentrations. Excessive use may lead to hyponatremia due to the dilution of sodium. Next example is 0.33% sodium chloride. The other names include 5% dextrose in 0.33 sodium chloride and one third strength normal saline. The osmolality is 365 milliosmoles per liter. The contents include water, sodium and chloride in equal proportion that is 56 milli equivalent per liter, glucose 50 gram per liter and 170 kilocalorie per liter. It is mainly used to allow kidneys to retain needed amounts of water. Free water helps kidneys eliminate the solutes. It is typically administered with dextrose to increase the tonicity. It is used in caution in patients with heart failure and renal insufficiency. Next example is 0.225% sodium chloride solution. The other names include 5% dextrose in 0.255 sodium chloride. The osmolality is 77 milliosmoles per liter and the contents include water, sodium and chloride in equal proportions, 38 milli equivalent per liter, glucose 50 gram per liter. It is used as maintenance fluid for pediatric patients as it is the most hypotonic fluid available. It is typically administered with dextrose to increase tonicity. So here you go with hypotonic solutions. If you find this video useful, please like it, share it and subscribe it and do not forget to hit the bell icon to receive instant notifications. Thanks for watching. Have a nice day.